There are over 7 billion people living on this planet. But if asked to name 50 who are truly making a global difference, some of us may struggle. It's clearly not due to the lack of people, but because there are too many to choose from, making it hard for one to stand out from the crowd. Let's start off with the fact that I'm not special, nor am I different than any of you who are watching this video. Because just like everyone else, life presented me with options to choose from. They weren't always what I had in mind as ideal options that I desired, but they led me to making this video for you today. But if you insist on labeling me, many call me weird. But don't get them wrong, it's actually a good thing. Because according to Seth Godin, whom I agree with on this, weirdos are the people who choose to avoid confirming to the masses, at least the small part of their lives. Hence, I don't mind being called weird. Allow me to share with you a part of my story. At the beginning of the year, I was set to have an article written about me and what I do in a newspaper. And the person asked me for my picture. At the beginning, I was fine with it. I didn't have an issue having my picture on the newspaper. But after a conversation I had and a sleepless night, I realized that I didn't want to be recognized in public. I liked the anonymity I had going on for me online and offline. And since then, I decided that's gonna be my goal, a mission that I wanted to achieve to prove to myself and others that one doesn't have to show his or her face in media to have a positive impact. One doesn't have to show their faces on media to be taken seriously. And I think I'm on the right track, given that this video is being aired in Oman Magazine's launch party while I'm thousands of kilometers away in Amman after being selected from thousands of participants to attend YouTube's first Arab Next Up Bootcamp. Which brings me to the most important fact of this video. I'm a YouTuber. I don't make YouTube videos for a living yet, but I do it because I love doing it. And I love the impact my videos have on people. I've always been a fan of the website and its content creators due to the impact they had on me and the lives of many. Since when do I have to feel bad when I don't wear makeup? Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I'm just back from a trip to Northern Jordan with UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, where I got to know a few of the 635,000 Syrian refugees currently living in Jordan. And in the coming weeks, I'll be sharing several of their stories. So after years of simply watching silently, in February 2014, I developed the courage to make my first YouTube video. And I loved it. I then started making more and more videos and uploading them regularly. And I got overly excited with every view count that I got. But in May 2016, I was invited to become part of a YouTuber's community. And because of it, YouTube approached me saying they wanted to support me and my channel because they saw great potential. Since then, I started living the dream. I visited the Google and YouTube offices in London. And I made a collaboration video with one of the biggest Arab YouTubers. And I was selected among some of the most influential female YouTubers to speak in the YouTube event Batala in Riyadh. And here I am today, doing what I do best, sharing my thoughts from behind the screen to who are in front of it. It comes with great responsibility, but we all need to be reminded sometimes. We don't only represent ourselves when we make our choices about what to say or what to do online. We represent our values and where we come from. So I pray that I represent Iman in the way it deserves to be represented to the world. A peace-loving country with great promise in making the world a better place. My name is Ashwaq al-Maskiri, and when given the choice, I choose to do what I love.